Hello, welcome to another episode of Sound Talk Show. We are going to demonstrate Emacs keyboard macro today. So it's going to be twenty minutes or thirty minutes. I'm going to demo Emacs, the power of Emacs keyboard macro, and、uh, and and I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay. So keep e- Emacs. So let's begin. Key, e- Emacs keyboard macro is the mo-、uh, one of the most Powerful feature. On the pink window, you can see all my command calls and、uh, keystrokes in Emacs. For example, I can move cursor. You can see、uh, move cursor by word, by paragraph, and so on.、Um, and、uh, I'm using soft light keys, and I'm using、um, Vorac layout. So th- this is my keyboard. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go on to keyboard macro. So keyboard macro, what is what is it? Basically, the feature is that it just records your keystrokes and、uh, allows it to be played back. And in Emacs, this is extremely powerful because in Emacs, everything you do is a command, and、uh, any command can have a key. So, in fact, the way Emacs works, you know the, you know the internal Emacs, is actually it just capture your keystrokes. And then every time you type something, I mean, even if I type something like something, okay, something, okay, that command, if you type s, that is actually the command、um, self insert. Let me show you, okay. So you call meta x describe key, then I press s, and you can now see. Ah,、uh, okay. Let me let me turn.、On. So you can let me highlight the current line. So now you can see it says S runs the command self insert command. So even when you are typing, you know, just A B C D E F, every character you type, every keystroke is actually calling a command. So that this fact makes Emacs keyboard macro the recording and playback keystrokes extremely powerful because everything you do, anything you do. Including delete, including split the window, or a new window, or copy, or new buffer, paste, or delete. That's all a command. I mean, even when you type something, so when you can record that and play back, it's extremely powerful. So it's it's in fact more powerful than programming Emacs Lisp. Okay, that that is actually true, and I have some examples to demonstrate that. Uh, but anyway, so let let me show you a keyboard macro. So let's start to demonstrate. So keyboard macro, the there are four commands you want to know. Okay, one is key macro start macro that starts the recording, and the other one is key macro end macro that ends macro. So during this time, whatever you typed, it will be recorded. Okay, then when you want to play it back. You say, call last keyboard macro, okay? That will play it back. Or alternatively, you can call this command keyboard macro end and call macro. That's kind of combining two commands into one. I usually don't use that. So anyway, so keyboard macro start macro, keyboard key macro end macro, and、uh, call last key macro. Okay, that's the three essential commands. Powerful. Let me. Demonstrate for now, okay? So let's see. So you can see today's talk show. You know, I'm on this file and、uh, showing browser. So this is today's talk show. So I have some text prepared here. Example to work on with Emacs keyboard macro. So you can see we have a list here. So I, I, let me tell you what I want to do, okay? You see, I want to make this add a corner bracket to the commands, okay? This this are、uh, Wufam language. Function names.、But、anyway, so I want to add this. So I press the key. So that that is my personal command, by the way. That's star insert corner bracket. Okay. Uh, let's um let's instead of using that, let's do something normal. So every so you can use it. Uh, so everyone understands. So let's see. I want to insert a left paren and then right paren. Then go to the next line. Left paren, right paren. Okay, left paren, right paren, and、uh, then I have lots of them, potentially thousands. What are you gonna do? Keyboard macro. Okay, so let's 
Let's record this and uh, do this whole shot, okay? So now start keyboard macro. Now start keyboard macro by default. There's a key Control X left paren and keyboard macro and macro is Control X right paren. And also by default, I believe it's a key F3 and F4. Okay. So anyway, so let's begin. So let's start macro. You can see in the pink window. You see, I call that command. Uh, actually, I don't want to start here. So every time you made a mistake during your recording, you can call the command keyboard quit, which is Control G. Okay, which I just did. Okay, so let's start again. I want to move the cursor to the beginning of the line. Okay, then start recording. Move cursor one word to the right. Insert a paren, left paren, move cursor one word again, insert the right paren. Now I want to stop recording, okay? Stop. Okay? So you can see I you know I called keyboard mark or start and keyboard mark or end, okay? Now I want to play that command. So I move the cursor to this line and I call the command call last keyboard mark, okay? So do it fantastic do it uh, uh, oh I pressed the wrong key okay uh, call last keyboard marker yeah do it uh, wait I, the cursor needs to be at the beginning of the line see so undo 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 yeah okay so let's start over here do it fantastic put the cursor at the beginning of the line do it fantastic do it fantastic now I want to apply to all these lines, you know, so let's select them all and call, there is a command called, there is a command, um, apply marker to region lines. So it will, for every each line, it will call the keyboard marker automatically. So let's do it. Fantastic! Fantastic! No, no, this block. Fantastic, okay? Okay, so... Apply macro to region lines, okay? Apply macro to region lines. You see, I have a key bound to that command. So apply macro to region lines. You see, so for me, it's a delete R comma on my Vorac keyboard, Kinesis Vorac layout. So, so anyway, that is the demonstration of keyboard macro. And uh, okay, so I think maybe that's it for today. How many people are here? We have a, I had a technical difficulty before because I was trying to install, I upgraded uh, OBS, you know, there's a giant new version of OBS came, came out and I upgraded and wham, it says, <laughs> it says error, you need to upgrade your video driver card, blah, blah, blah. And uh, then I went into the saga, 20 minutes to update my video driver on Windows. So Windows sucks. Okay, so that's it, I think, for today. Um, so if you, so I have a tutorial, you, you can just search for Xali Emacs Keyboard Macro, okay? It's all written out, so I have lots of details, you can read about it, and uh, it's a great feature, okay? So let me read a question, and I think that's it for today. Your voice startled me because I was in a different browser tab. Okay, fantastic. Immortality. So you are the guy, one waiting. Okay, so we got four uh, watchers. So what time is it? How long have I been? I think that's it for today. 10 minutes. Okay, short today. To the point. Okay, so check it out. Uh, if you like my stuff, buy my Emacs tutorials. Okay, thank you guys. Bye. Shutting down in one minute. So let me, you know, meanwhile, let me just undo because this is parenthesis is not what I, actually what I want. Let me show you um, 
uh, yeah, I, um, so remove the paren. Actually, I want a square corner bracket. Okay, that's what I want. And uh, I so record a keyboard macro. So start at here. Um, yeah, so start recording, insert that, then go to the end of the line. Let's do something different, okay? Then jump by word, then that's it, okay? Then stop recording, okay? Now call as keyboard macro. Do it. What? Uh, did we do it? Oh, you have to do it. Okay, I recorded wrong, so let's start over. Okay, so I want to begin here. So record a keyboard macro, insert the corner bracket, go to the end of line, and jump forward by one word. Okay, now end the keyboard macro. End it. Now call last keyboard macro. Do it. Okay, do it again. Now, okay, so I, I can now repeat it. You know, three keys to repeat it every time. Okay. But now let's let me show you another command, okay? So call as keyboard macro, and now I'm going to instead of calling the call as keyboard macro, I'm going to call repeat last command because if I call that, it allows me to press a single key to repeat, okay? So do it. You see, you can look at the pink window. You can see, uh, does it show? Yeah, you see the repeat command in the pink window. Now I can just press T to repeat it. You see, do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay. Now in this way, I don't have to select. You see. So now let's call the keyboard macro and do it. Okay. Now move here. Call last keyboard macro, then repeat. Then T, 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 fantastic. Okay, and uh, let's just do this manually. Okay, so call last keyboard macro, repeat, repeat. Wait, what? Call last keyboard macro, repeat, repeat. Yeah, let's just do that manually, 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 you know. The, so the keyboard macro, the power is that when you have two, hundreds of them, then it saves you days, sometimes even. Like some something impossible becomes possible. So so this is just my personal work. So once I have this, I press the command, then all the corner brackets becomes code. So if you go to the browser, refresh, you can see they'll become red. Show it. You see, that's what I want. Those red means those are function names. Okay, so do it. These are just my personal uh, HTML commands. And by the way, you can also, instead of the corner bracket something fun, you can also use the markdown convention. So you type fun and you type this. Okay, actually not that. You type that, okay. You see the that's the back tick. Now you can call this command and both of, of them will be code highlighted in red. Okay, so let's undo that. Delete that. Let's just Okay, thank you guys for watching and bye. Show this in browser. Fantastic.